Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Ubuntu guy and today uh, I want to show you guys how I or how to edit, um, edit videos in PTV video editor. So let's get started. Now first off. Uh, we actually got to open up <laughs> Pativi video editor very tough thing to do but uh, we got to do it okay so right here the program has opened so uh, it says welcome and we press new obviously okay let's see here so it says project settings and we've got a little bit of uh, video presets already going on here. So uh, HDV, uh, 1080i, that's not what we are going to be using. So I make YouTube videos and therefore I will select a 720p 30 frames per second. Uh, you can obviously look at the settings right here. Uh, 1280 by 720 and uh, almost 30 frames per second. And the display aspect ratio is a uh, white screen 16 by 9 and yeah that's it uh, we've also got actually a few audio presets no not really but only iPod uh, you can also change these settings audio settings if you want to uh, actually in info we will name the project so I will name it test very original name for a test video uh, so uh, yeah that's it I will press uh, OK so right here we will uh, add our video files so uh, import files and I have a screencast screencast right here I will add it double click just and uh, then I will drag this um, video clip to the timeline so we've got video and audio now uh, this is a very basic video editor so uh, you can basically do like normal video editors. Now I've tried uh, OpenShot and Caden Live, but they are simply too buggy for me. Uh, I've I've only had one problem with the uh, PTV video editor so far, and um, I mean it's not a huge problem. I'll show you guys what it is in the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, we can adjust the volume um, in our timeline. And uh, we've got the clip right here. So uh, what you can do is basically very easy. You can press uh, S to basically split the clip. As you see right now, it's split. So uh, what we will do now is actually you can also press this uh, scissor down here to split the clip. Um, and you can add a keyframe if you want that as well. So. Um, Right now, uh, actually, I'll just show you um, how to uh, enable some uh, effects or how to import some effects in this video clip. First off, you will actually have to install uh, these, what's it called, these uh, add-ons right here. So um, these add-ons are also add-ons, what, what do you call them, codecs, I mean. These codecs are actually called uh, GNOME. Uh, video effects I think so so what we are going to do is actually open our software center in Ubuntu and wait for it to start up okay shouldn't take too long so right here we uh, type in gnome video effects uh, right here gnome video effects so uh, this GNOME video effects right here is basically these two things, Friar thing and NumPy. Um, so uh, what you gotta do is install this GNOME video effects um, and that's basically it. So when we're back here at PTV video editor, we click on this effect uh, tab, effect right library tab right here. And we've got a ton of effects. If you want to add some effects, you can obviously just take it and drag it down on your clip. So like I said, it's basically very, very simple to do stuff here in uh, PTV. Obviously, we can also adjust our clips just by doing this. 
and of course also at the other end if you want to. Now if you want to undo an effect again you click right here in your clip configurations uh, window and then effect and right here it says you have added the mirror effect all you do is uh, click it and uh, remove effect and that's basically it so like I said this is a very basic video editor nothing fancy at all now the only bug I have noticed in Pativi and I've used Pativi a lot I use like I said before I use it to edit my vlogs and stuff like that so um, so the only problem I've had uh, with Pativi so far or the only bug is actually when I have this clip right here and I want to drag it into this clip to make a cool fading effect fade in and fade out you'll notice there'll uh, uh, be these kind of effects symbols right here so when I click this thing right here as you see the um, I don't know what it's called the moving thing right here it doesn't do anything at all well, I can still do stuff in uh, PTV, but this thing is just, yeah, it's just stuck there. Uh, so, so this was the video, just a quick uh, video showing you how to uh, do stuff in PTV, uh, not anything fancy, just to uh, show you guys how easy it actually is, and um, just to tell you guys that I really do prefer. Uh, PTV over OpenShot and uh, Caden Live because they're just too buggy for me. So that's it. Have a nice day, and I will catch you guys later. Bye.